Hi hey everyone, how are you doing? Just want to uh, put together this little video showing you how you can use this wonderful bit of software that's free of charge to download called Audacity. Uh, the website's address is audacityteam.org and you want to, at the home page, you want to go to Downloads and depending on what format, download either Windows or Mac. So just click on the Windows and a menus will open and you'll be able to download the software. Now of course I've already got this on my system so what we're going to do is just uh, go forward to the point where you've downloaded it and installed it on your computer. Right, Audacity is here so I'm just going to double click that and launch the software. Anyway, make sure that if you want to play back and hear whatever backing tracks or what piece of music you've got, uh, just make sure you select it. Uh, and in my case, I'm using Voice Meter. Oh, so we've got our screen here, and I am going to load the MP3 file. So click on Open, and I've got this uh, excellent piece by Guthrie Govan called. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, a lot of guitar in on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and slow down part of this. So I'm going to put my cursor uh, where the part of the guitar started. I'm going to click and hold with the left mouse and scroll across and cover the area that we're going to look to slow down. So I've selected the area, which is now in grey. Now I go to the effects menu and I am looking for change tempo, not change speed, should be change tempo. Now on mine I've been using this earlier, so it's got a minus 20, yours would come up at zero. Uh, you've got different ways you can change this, you can use the slider, uh, or you can just type in. So I'm going to type in, remember if you want to slow it down it's got to be a minus, so I'm going to do minus 10. Click OK. Now, if I click and start just before the track, you'll be able to hear the changes. Hey, it works. So we could hear that going from a faster slow back to the fast again. Now, if it wasn't slow enough, what you must do is not stack by going back to the effect and increasing again. You should go back to undo change tempo. Then go back to the effects, change tempo, and if you want, let's put in minus 20. Oh, we click select and you can see the screen moving it because obviously the slow track uh, has it stretched the file. So let's go back again. <laughs> we can see clearly it's slowing it down even more. Now there is a point where if you slow it down too much it will start to break up. So I'm going to go change tempo and this time I'm going to put in a minus 14. Uh, now listen to this, uh, you might start hearing more down this way. clearly start to hear the drums breaking up on that. Uh, you can still use it to uh, learn some of the phrasing that's going on, but as a backing track, you know, really not going to cut that. So I would say on this track, and it will depend on the quality of the track you've got, uh, that I'm not probably going to get much more than minus 30 on this one. So, uh, so once we've slowed it down to where we want it to be and we want to start to use this, uh, we will just click on File and then Export Audio decide where you want to save it and in which format. We've got WAV file and we've got MP3 format, but a whole bunch of formats there for you to save. Um, uh, if you wanted to do the whole track, you would click on edit and go down to select all. All of the track now is highlighted and then go back to change. Uh, let's take that back to the 20 again. and. Uh, now the whole track has been slowed down. So 
So there you've got a backing track now running at a minus 20% ratio. Uh, remember, if you still wanted to use that at other times, just uh, export it and then remember to undo the tempo or else your beloved MP3 will be back at that timing forever. So, hope this has been useful. Uh, it is a great tool, uh, especially considering that Audacity is free of charge. So if you've got any tracks that you've been working on and you just find them a little bit uh, too hard to play, if you're learning a new track uh, and again the tempo and some of the rhythm works a little bit too much at this stage, just open it up in your Audacity, slow it down, export it and you'll be able to start using it uh, and hopefully play along with this track. So, hopefully, find this has been a very useful video. Uh, I use this all the time. Very, very useful uh, piece of equipment, this software here. So, um, look forward to speaking to you again. I uh, hope it's been useful. If you enjoyed it, uh, do the usual. Please subscribe. Look forward to seeing and speaking to you again. Goodbye.